Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Naomi and this video is a tutorial on how I got this look right here. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Naomi Ramen. I post a lot of outfit photos and fashion content, so if you're interested in that, definitely go follow me on there. By the way, very important, I got the cutest tank top ever from Verge Girl. I got it in green and I got it in this really cute pink color. So I want to do a clothing haul video next because I've just been shopping way too much lately. So obviously if I was actually putting an outfit together, I wouldn't wear Adidas track pants with this top, but I just really wanted to show you how cute this top is. Well, I can't hear anything. So I'll do it later. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation ever. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the Dewy Formula. And I'm just gonna take that on this Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush. So I've just blended my foundation in pretty rough with the brush cause I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender next. Going in with a beauty blender as the first tool to apply your foundation to your face sucks up a lot of the product and you kind of lose a lot of foundation and you end up using a lot more. So now that my foundation has dried down, I'm going to go in with concealer and the concealer that I'm using is the NARS Radiant Creamy in the shade Medium Dark 2. So I'm going to let my concealer sit a little bit and dry down, maybe like 5 or 6 minutes. I'm also going to use my makeup fan to help it dry a little faster. Honestly, letting your concealer sit a little bit is a major key to make it a lot more opaque with using less product. So it's been a few minutes and my concealer has dried down a little bit and I'm finally gonna go in with this mini sponge from Kuo and start blending. So now that my concealer is blended, I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm just gonna pick some up on the mini sponge. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just taking the same mini sponge and doing like a reverse contour. I'm now gonna take this fluffy brush and brush off the excess powder. So now I'm gonna take this Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil and I'm gonna pick some of that up on this e.l.f. angled blush brush and I just do a light contour and I take it into my hairline as well and I can't believe I forgot to do this in my last makeup video that I uploaded but I take the bronzer and I bronze my entire nose basically. It might look a little crazy now, but it really balances out when I put some blush on. So the blush that I'm using is the BH Cosmetics Floral Blush in the shade Honolulu Hideaway. So I'm just taking that on this big fluffy brush from e.l.f. Blush is another thing that I really load up on at the beginning because it fades a lot throughout the day. I like to also take my blush onto my nose. Um, and I'm going to go in with this kind of more compact fluffy brush. This one doesn't really have a name. I think it's from Coastal Sense. And I'm just going to go into that same blush and um, kind of go into the middle of the bridge of my nose and connect it to the blush on my cheeks. I'm going to do my eyeshadow now and I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette just because I haven't used it in a while and some of the colors are just standing out to me today. I'm just going to take this fluffy brush, I don't know what brand it is. It's kind of just like a soft fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I think I'm going to go in with this um, burnt orange color and just go all over my lid with it. I think I'm happy with the eyeshadow just being simple like this because I am going to be wearing lashes so um, I don't want to get too crazy with the eyes today. I'm not that adventurous with eyeshadow. I like keeping it really simple and like monotone and I like how my lids are kind of matching the rosiness of my blush so I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Now I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I'm just gonna cover my eyes and my under eyes while I spray that on. I'm not sure why I don't have footage of this, but I spray my face with the NYX Dewy Setting Spray after this. So as you can see, it makes your skin super dewy and glowy without using any powder products. My eyeshadow moved around a little bit after using the setting spray, so I'm just gonna 
blend out the creases. So since I'm doing a full face and I'm also going to be wearing falsies, I'm going to use a uh, black liquid liner. And I usually use the NYX liquid liner. That's like my favorite liquid liner of all time. But I can't find it for some reason. So I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics liquid liner. This one's pretty good, but I think it's getting a little bit dry. So we'll see how. So that's one eye done. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye. So that's both eyes done. I really hope they match up. I can't really tell. I'm going to do my bottom liner now and I'm going to go back into the Modern Renaissance palette and with an angled brush I'm going to take this um, kind of shimmery bronze shade and the shimmery red shade underneath it and kind of mix them together and go into my bottom lash line. Come in. Yo, where are the... Do we have like uh, gloves? Like... Disposable gloves? Like plastic gloves? Yeah. Or like um, gloves? I have no clue. Mom would know. I'm calling her, but she's not picking up. Well, what do you need them. gloves for? I'm cleaning my shoelaces, but I have to rinse them in bleach, and it's not good to get bleach on your hands. I get bleach on my hands all the time whenever I clean with bleach. It stings for like a day, and then it's good over. It stings? It stings, yeah. Oh, I. It doesn't sting that bad. It's just like it feels kind of strange on your hands. Oh, online it just said avoid using bleach because it's not it's just not good for your skin. So. Yeah, it's not, but if you don't do it often. So there's my bottom lash line done. I kind of wanted to keep with the monotone rosiness of the entire look. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I just use a regular lash curler like this. And the mascara that I'm using is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist in the waterproof formula. And this is not bad for a waterproof formula. It definitely isn't difficult to take off, especially if you use a makeup removing balm or an oil cleanser. For my bottom lashes, I just use whatever dry mascara I have laying around. This one is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. So finally, I'm going to put my lashes on and these lashes are probably my favorite lashes just because they're so comfortable to wear. The lashes that I'm using today are the Kiss Lashes in the style Flirty. I get a pretty decent use out of them. Like I can wear these lashes five or six times before they really break down and I need to toss them and, and wear a new pair. The lash glue that I'm using is this Duo 2-in-1 Brush On. I mainly just use the black. I've never used the clear one ever. By the way, angled tweezers are so useful for applying lashes. Um, I don't remember where I got these, but I'm sure you can get angled tweezers on like Amazon or Walmart. While I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry a little bit and get tacky enough, I'm going to fill in my brows with the NYX um, Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. And now I'm going to set my brows with the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. So lastly, I'm going to be doing my lips. I'm going to be going in with this Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Rich Chocolate. And I'm just going to go all over my lip with this lip liner. So it looks really dark right now, so I'm going to kiss some of it off on a piece of tissue. So I take enough of it off so it just looks like a lip stain. And lastly, I'm going to put on a little bit of gloss. And this is the Milani Lip Gloss in the shade Tenderness. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be trying to put out one video a week on here, but we'll see how that actually turns out. You can go follow me on Instagram if you'd like. I post a lot of my outfit photos. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.